Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which I'm going to teach you how to solo in any key immediately. Okay? Immediately find the key that you're in and soloing on it. Okay? So, um, for this example, okay, for this method, I hope that you know the A minor pentatonic scale. Okay? In case you don't know it, let's just quickly go over it, okay, get it out of the way. So you have five and eight on the sixth string, okay? And you have five and seven on the next three strings. Okay, on the fifth, the fourth, and the third. And then you have five and eight again on the uh, first and second strings. Okay, so it's five, eight, okay, five, seven for three strings, and five, eight, on the next two strings. Now, this is just for example purposes, okay? Just for demonstration purposes. Um, you could just as easily uh, have taken any other scale. I, I could play the whole A minor scale, I could play a major scale. The good thing is that music is relative. Music is relative, just like my shirt, which is relative to the couch. It blends right in so I can camouflage myself in case of um, aerial warfare. Um, so, hey, you have the A minor pentatonic scale. It's also the C major pentatonic scale, the C major pentatonic scale. Every major key, major scale, is also a relative to a minor scale. Hey, that's theory for you, but let's not get into it. Let's just suffice by saying that A, ma A minor is also C major. A minor is also C major. So this scale is actually two scales. It's A minor. Hey, it's A minor. And it's C major if you start it from the second note. Okay? C. But it's also a, mi a, a minor. Okay. All right. Theory out of the way. H how do you find the key that you're in? Okay. Usually it's the first chord of the song or the last chord of the song. Okay, if you're not sure, go for the ending chord. The ending chord of the song is almost always, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's the key that you're in. Okay, so um, this, okay, this scale, if you move it around, okay, we're lucky to be guitar players because we don't need to actually memorize anything. We don't even need to know the notes that we're playing. We just need to memorize the shape and where the bass note is. So if we want to play the G minor, okay, the G minor pentatonic scale or the G minor scale, okay, all you need to know is where the G bass is. So if you have the E-shaped bar, okay, the e shape. Okay, the E chord, okay, it's a bar that moves around, right? Okay. You find where the E-shaped bar of the chord is and you have the position for the scale. That's all. So if you're looking to play G minor, okay, it's on three. So that's where you play the scale shape, exactly the same scale shape. Okay, so it's the same. And what happens if you want G major? Okay, G major. Remember, you start the major scale from the second note of the scale shape, the second note. 
So you put your little finger there. So three frets back is the open string. So that's your scale. Okay? And if you look at this, okay, then you notice that this is also E minor. This is E minor pentatonic as well. Okay? Because E minor is on zero. So that's where the scale shape is. Okay? You can play the full scale if you want. Okay? But let's just keep it simple because I want you to know how to find it. And once, once you know how to find it, you can play any scale shape that you want. The minor scale, the major scale, the altered scale, the, 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 the Dorian scale, okay? any mode, anything. Okay? The diminished scale. What's important is to find where it is. Okay? So if you want B flat minor, it's on six. Okay, B flat is on six on the sixth rank. So that's where the scale is. Okay? It's also, if you look at it, it's a part of the scale itself. It's a part of the minor scale itself. Every chord is a part of its scale. Now, also, the bar. The bar is also a part of the... It's also a part of the pentatonic shape. Okay, so learn to see it. Learn to see the chord inside the scale. And this, okay, is also... Okay, it's also C-sharp major. Okay, C-sharp major. Okay? Now, if you want to find, let's say, D major, okay? So on the sixth string, that would be on 10, okay? On 10, D major. So you go three frets back because you need to start from the second note. Okay? But if I wanted D minor, then I would just start from 10. Okay, so that's how you find the key. That's how you find the, the scale and you can easily solo in any key. And it's only the beginning, granted, but, um, but just knowing this, knowing that you can move everything around and change keys really easily on the guitar it just takes such a load off and such pressure off because beginners usually dread the amount of scales and stuff that you have to learn. Um, and I'm here to tell you that you have nothing to worry about because the guitar is full of shortcuts. Okay, and if you want um, my help further, I have the Ultimate Beginner Guitar Course, a seven hour beginner guitar course that will turn you into a musician from day one. You're gonna play actual music from the very first lessons, okay? And um, I don't call it the ultimate beginner uh, masterclass for nothing, okay? It's at lickandref.com slash beginner. It's designed to take you from complete beginner, okay? With absolutely no guitar knowledge to intermediate, okay? It takes you all the way up to intermediate level. So check it out lickandrev.com slash beginner, and I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.